This is my family home that I own with my husband and our three kids. What started out as a simple renovation turned into a massive structural full house renovation as they go with really old homes. But as a designer, I could see the potential. It just needed opening up and to be brought back to this century. I wanted to maintain a feeling of classicism and historical character, but also bring in modern touches. The entire kitchen was designed around my La Cornu stove. This was my dream stove, and finally I had a chance to use it. The symmetry with the kitchen started with centering that stove for maximum impact, and then a beautiful waterfall countertop in front of it, and my stunning Tom Dixon lights. These are all must-haves in my dream kitchen, so I was really excited to get to use them in this house. We completely removed the back of the entire house, and in doing so, I was able to put in these beautiful French doors and giving us access to the backyard, which we love. We eat out there every single night in the summer, so the doors are really a great addition to the room. The functionality of the kitchen was also important for me. I have my prep area, which is on the island, so I can look out, look at the kids, and then the washing up area is on the perimeter counter, because I like that mess kind of tucked away and not having all the dishes sitting on the island. The stained walnut wall is actually all function. There's two beautiful fridges hidden in there and then additional china storage. I collect china and crystal and all of those things. I had seen an image of that cabinet in an antique home in France and I replicated it to build into this walnut wall. By opening up the entire kitchen, I was now able to have a beautiful, comfy seating area to watch TV and hang out and read. So I wanted to introduce the walnut again in the TV area. So that beautiful wall of walnut and stone, it adds some warmth again, but also the marble ties through to the back of the kitchen. I love our living room. It's really a fantasy room. So I wanted to layer it with moldings, beautiful wallpaper, and again, because we love to entertain, we put in a wet bar and made that center point of the room. The paneling in the living room is actually modeled after the Dior store in Paris, which is this beautiful, serene space. So I really wanted to bring some of that home. And then the wallpaper is a wallpaper I'd had my eye on for years and found the perfect place for it. You know, one of my clients walked in there and she's like, I want this room. She loved it. She understood the vision. Being able to design your dream home is really so lucky and I'm so fortunate that I was able to make the home look and feel and function exactly how I wanted it. And we absolutely love this home.